this is a track freedom and uh, we want to show how to replace the tire or the tube or just by removing the front wheel this front wheel is a hub motor so it has a electric cable here that goes through the fork and goes inside of this mask so we'll have to remove the mask cut those zip ties remove the wheel and pull everything and take to the bench to do the tire repair uh, a table like this Come close. you will need a two five millimeters allen wrench one snipper to cut the zip ties you will have to replace three zip ties to change the tire remove the tire we'll need a tire levers and then we'll have to pump the tire using a floor pump with a nice gauge so stable here to rest the track here so I can work on the wheel using this two five millimeters on range you will you don't need to remove but you can so removing this removing the key washer do the same thing on the other side Washer. It's a little tight here, but okay. So let's keep the parts. This is the snipper to cut the zip ties here. One. Be careful to not cut the the motor wire. Now we'll have to get inside of this mask, and for this we'll need a uh, three millimeters. Three millimeters Allen wrench. You remove the side, four side um, screws. You just want to disconnect the motor from the controller, but the connection is inside here. Will so now that we remove the bolts we'll pull this be careful there it's connected to the controller here the front lights you just squeeze this and pull we will have to reinstall the same way here's the connector to the motor cable we have to also cut the zip tie this is very important when we reinstall to connect to the frame here so Remember, this has, has an alignment, so when we reinstalling, we want to put in the same alignment here. So remove here, now we already remove the bolts. Okay, so this is lots here, sometimes they are tight, you have to work a little bit. Don't lose these spacers. Pay attention, this is spacer here, those two spacers are almost the same size, but they are not the same size, okay? And this spacer here is thinner and this is thicker, so you have to put the thinner spacer on this side, on the cable side, if you put the big spacer, it will damage the cable, okay? Be careful, thinner, it goes past this. Okay, let's take to the bench. <laughs> 